Hi Aries, this is Tanya Lee of Harmonia and welcome to your love reading for May 2021. If you guys are new to the channel and you feel guided, just go ahead and hit subscribe. Make sure you guys hit that bell twice so this way you get all the notifications. Um, I do post quite frequently. And welcome back to my regular subscribers. So good to see you guys here. Thank you so much for all your love and support. This is how the love readings play out. These are different than, a, it's still a general reading, but it's different than the general one because other things come up. This is more specific about how you feel about a specific person, romance, on your mind and how they feel about you and then the combined energy of you both. Because I'm reading two energies, guys, sometimes it makes more sense on the other side to be you, so go ahead and flip it if that makes more sense for you. Um, these stories can be very specific, so usually you can tell from the title or right from the beginning if it's gonna be your story or not. Do not force anything to fit. It's a general reading, okay? So just use your intuition, take what resonates, leave the rest, all right? So let's get started here, Aries. Also a reminder, if you're looking to book anything with me, you must do so through my website. That's on the description box below, but it's harmoniafriends.com. You can find that information under workshops and sessions. I have actually a tarot workshop, I'm very excited about that, coming out um, in June. So you can book for that if you want, if you're interested in tarot. But if you want a session, all of my Harmonite sessions are noted there, okay? They're not just readings. I'm a spiritual life coach, so it's a little bit additional support on the readings that I offer, okay? Because I'm a psychic medium, but I'm also a spiritual life coach. So yes, you'll have homework, but it will be good homework. All right, Aries, let's get started. Let's see what's going on in love. Let's see what's going on in love, all right? Calling in our guides, our ancestors, and our ascendant masters as to what messages we have in love for Aries. How is Aries feeling about the person on their mind? Well, okay. <laughs> blew out and how is their person feeling about Aries how is a person feeling about Aries what is the combined energy of these two what is the combined energy of these two spirit give me a second guys Aries, this feels like a very strong connection. And the reason I needed a moment because I feel like it's happening really quickly. And here's the thing. We're starting off with transformation right in the smack middle, okay? So something is changing about this dynamic of this, of this relationship, okay? Um, there is something that feels in this level though, and it's funny because you have a lot of illusion on your side it's almost like you feel like it's happening too quickly. This feels very passionate, but I feel that I'm talking to an Aries here who's been through a lot and it's like this connection is very intense, okay? Now, on your side we have dragon, beware of self-delusion. As I told you, there's a lot of illusions here. And then caterpillar, things will not always be this way, a change is coming. And here's the thing, you go from caterpillar to a butterfly. That cocoon stage where you feel like, let's see, let's take things slow, doesn't feel like it's happening for you because it feels like it's moved from like caterpillar to bam, butterfly. Is this, I keep hearing, is this too good to be true? You are very wary of this individual. You are. Um, so if this is a connection where you're like, well, obviously you're checking in on them, but it's like, it, I feel that you feel it's too good to be true. Now on your person's side, we have Tulip, great passion, all right? Next to Shark, take care or there will be a loss of material wealth. Hmm. This is how you see them. You almost see them as maybe too good to be true or maybe that they're love bombing you. Um, or do you feel like they're a shark meaning that they're preying on you? Like, I just feel like the amount of attention you're getting from this person is pretty pretty quick, but I feel like it was a quick, intimate, spicy kind of connection here, okay? Uh, there is a lot of passion here, but we'll see how the tarot cards feel, but I feel like it's almost like you're unsure of this person's motives. Um, 
and you've been hurt. I feel like I'm talking to an Aries here who's been hurt in the past um, by others or burnt. Um, so it's just like I want it to be. It, I want it to be true, but I'm just not sure here. All right, we're starting off here with the Ten of Wands reverse, the Hangman reverse, and we have the Empress. On your person side, we have the Lovers, uh -huh, the Devil energy, <laughs> the Queen of Pentacles, and then the combined energy of you both is the Ten of Cups, the Ace of Swords, oh my, and the Star. I just feel like you're like, this is too good to be true. <laughs> Man, all right. I'm feeling it too. Like I feel the energy Aries and I'm like, I don't know. Like this is too fairy tale. Like, I don't know, but let's, I'm feeling the same way. I'm, I'm wary for you. <laughs> okay. So here's the thing. I told you the 10 of wands energy Aries, you've been through the ringer. You really have. Okay. I feel you've been burnt in many relationships. All right. Now this is reversed. So there's something about this person that put that fire out, okay? But also there is passion here, all right? Even though this person is not aware of the fire here as being burnt, okay? This is different. The connection with the reverse is stating to me, it's not that this person's a burden, it's like, what is this connection? Why has it come so quickly? Where has this person been? And like, I'm just so like, I feel like you're in shock, okay? It's definitely woken something up for you because with the hangman, the energy of going, you know what? Um, I am not going to jump in love again. Why do I feel, Aries, this wasn't expected? I feel like you got out of a relationship and this relationship just kind of fell upon your lap. Wow, it, that's what it feels like. It feels like this connection fell upon your lap in that level, okay? Um, but what you were waiting for is that healing stage of being in the hangman position, okay? I just feel like you were like, okay, I'm the caterpillar now. Um, I've learned my lessons from the past and now I'm gonna go into a cocoon stage. You can't even go in that cocoon stage because you, it's reversed. It's Virgo energy here, okay? I don't feel that you are ready here with the Empress. Now, this is Taurus and Libra energy. Now, the Empress is about a rebirth, a new beginning, okay? How you feel about this person is, I feel like you're like, well, this feels like a new relationship, feels something new, could go somewhere here, all right? But you're like, you look exhausted. You look like <laughs> drained, okay? Why do I feel like this was supposed to be a one night stand kind of feeling and it didn't turn out to be that way? All right? Maybe you were trying to just be casual, that kind of thing, and it just did not, it's more. It's more than that, okay? Now on your person side, who's this Casanova? pretty woman. <laughs> like, I feel like this is like Gemini energy here with lovers. This person, see, the, the whatever, there was an instant attraction between the both of you, depending whatever gender you are, okay? Um, but this is about a choice, a choice here, okay? Now, the choice here is extremely passionate with the Capricorn energy here, and you guys have major arcana here on this side. Um, but you could be dealing with an air sign or it could be with an earth or have earth elements here. But the devil, I don't see it as toxic. I see it as passion. Like, hey, what's going on here? You had an instant, and this is an instant attraction to this individual. It's like that thing of like, you see each other across the room and all of a sudden you have, like, it's just like, in to I'm hearing intoxicating here, okay? Um, how they feel about you, they are very obsessed, they are, and that obsession is the devil energy, okay? Um, but with the queen of pentacles energy, the queen of pentacles, Aries, is usually, she's kind of, and I'm saying she, because it's, like I said, we all have feminine masculine energy, so use the gender as you, you see fit. But this is someone who's very motherly, nurturing, can support herself, and helps out others as well. Everybody comes to her um, in the level of if they need help. And she can give it out freely because she can take care of herself as well. So she has a lot of physical abundance in that essence. This person sees you as a very strong person, 
um, that physically is there for people. I just hear that you're there for people. And there's something about this attraction that withholding this little key here, it's like, I don't think this person expected it. In fact, this feels like a player. They do, they do feel like a player energy or someone who was non-committal and doing something casual. Um, and it's not that I think that they were playing games with you, because they're not. Um, I don't think they expected this connection. I think it's throwing them off for the loop. I do. I think that when it says take care of there will be a loss of material wealth, this person, um, they're going to woo you in a way that, and I feel like their love language is to get you stuff, okay? So I feel like this person may gift you a lot of things in, a, in, in, in some kind of essence, but that's their love language. But even they are questioning, like, what am I doing, <laughs> okay? Now, the combined energy of you both, are you kidding me? The Ten of Cups, a lot of emotion here, a lot of feels. This is just emotional happiness that's coming together. It's family, but with the Ace of Swords, a combined energy, it's happening really quickly because the Ace of Swords energy is about something being spoken. Um, I mean, you just have so much Major Arcana here and then you have the star under here, Aquarius energy, more air energy about a wish and a dream and a hope, but it's also about healing. There's something in this, I just don't expect, and they're showing me the hummingbird here. You know, hummingbird's really quick. Like, I don't think you, you either of you expected this connection. I don't. It's almost like it was like serendipity or perfect timing how you two met. Um, this doesn't feel like something where you guys, like this connection feels different. It feels unconventional. Um, I don't feel like they're involved with another person. I feel like it's a level of they were very casual. So if they were are involved with other people, it was a casual level. It's not somebody who's married. It's not. It's not feeling the level of them being committed and having an affair or anything like that. It doesn't feel like that energy. It feels like somebody who's just non-committal or is, likes to have a good time. Very casual. Interesting. All right, let's validate though this with the vice versa deck. I do not do reversals on them because there's two, two sides to these cards. So let's get started. Let's validate on your side this 10 of wands reverse, this hangman reverse, and this empress energy. Here we go. Nine of cups, four of cups. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. I really don't think this person may be at a distance from you. You might have met them at a, not around your area. Um, could have been even like you were traveling, okay? But it's something with a nine of cups. It's wish fulfilling. Um, but I feel like this person is at a distance and I feel like it's too, like I keep hearing it's too good to be true, okay? That's how you feel, all right? Now with the hangman and the four of cups, this is your, all in your feels, Aries. This is all about you having feelings about this person. It's like, I don't even know what to do. I don't even know how to address this, okay? The four of cups is not being satisfied with the offers that come your way, okay? I feel for many of you, you turned off on love. It's almost like, um, I don't, I'll, it's not for me anymore. I'll just work or I'll just do this. But Aries, it feels to me, you're like, no, I'm not, I'm not looking to have any kind of couple up. Well, this has changed. It's completely changed because with the Emperor's energy and the Ace of Wands, <laughs> Ace of Wands, I mean, that's my, that's my woo-woo card, all right? So this is a lot of passion. This is a lot of attraction and it's a lot of physical attraction, but also some physical elements going on here, all right? Um, bang, look at the lightning coming out of this. This is like, boom, I can't believe this happened. Guys, also, for those of you who had a passionate, it could even be because we have the Empress here where it was like um, a fling and somebody could have gotten pregnant, okay? Um, that's only for some of you, all right? But others of you, be wary because that's the kind of energy this is in, okay? I mean, this is kind of like, be wary of that. All right, let's see what's on your person's side here with the lover's energy, the devil, and the queen of pentacles spirit. What do we have here? Oh boy. 
you're a person. They definitely feel at a distance here with the Six of Pentacles, Earth energy here, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn again. Um, could be dealing with a Capricorn. But they are definitely evaluating, trying to make something equal. They're also working on, like I told you, like I feel like this person, their way of presenting their love is physical, tangible things. So that's money, comes in wealth. This person, um, it's, I feel like they're working on building their wealth. Um, this is something that's very important to them, but there's something about the town or the area that they're evaluating, okay? Like I said, some of you might be at a distance. I do feel like that might be the case in here with that devil energy. Now with the lovers, the six of swords is usually moving to calmer waters. This is how they feel. It's not that they're moving away from you. They want to move with you. Okay, they're like this, this, they like, man, my Aries makes me feel calm. My Aries I can travel with. Ooh, I just feel like you guys are traveling or something. Something in regards to traveling or being at a distance, but it's something where there's a connection here that you guys can do something together. And this person's fantasizing a lot about you, especially with this devil energy on the Six of Pentacles. Now, here's the thing. With the Five of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles, this is how they feel, how they feel. Um, I don't know if you have mentioned your disappointment in love, that you just want something casual, um, you're not really into it. I feel like, Aries, you've been hurt before, you've been in third party situations. This person's evaluating what you've been through, but there's two cups right next to them, and I'm just saying it's a him because it's a him on the card. It doesn't necessarily mean that's your gender, okay? Not gender specific. But what is happening here with those two of cups is they're like, are they, is my Aries gonna be too focused on this versus what I could possibly offer here. Also, your person is looking on their past because they have been dissatisfied in love in many ways too. That's why they're non-committal. okay? This, uh, they did not, I feel this energy of them not expecting to feel this way in this connection. Let's see what the Ten of Cups, the Ace of Sword, and the Star energy is though with the outcome cards. Let's see what we have here from Spirit. I do feel like they're just like, I can't get over all of the presenting. Like, I feel like they want to offer you something that's tangible here, okay? Like, this is, this is, um, well, I'm going to show you the cards down here, but this is, this is really interesting. All right, so the Ten of Cups, we have the Page of Pentacles. So this is a new opportunity, okay? New love. It could be, they could be younger than you, okay? Um, but this is something where they want to offer you something that's tangible. Why does it feel like they want to like move really quickly? Maybe you guys are at a distance from each other, but I feel like someone wants to move, all right? But there's stability here. Now here's what's, what's crazy. You got the emperor who's also holding the world in their hand, okay? The emperor, Aries, this is your own energy here, okay? I feel like this person is some kind of entrepreneur um, or it could be you too. There's there's somebody here who is really strategic and runs their own show. If they're not an entrepreneur, this is a boss kind of person, okay? But there's some kind of truth. Somebody wants to bring the truth out to the table here. And I feel like it's this energy of presenting the truth to you, Aries, okay? Next to the two of wands and the stars is about having options and choices. Notice everybody is holding that ball. Look at this. You can't make this shit up if you try. The cards don't lie. Look at this. All holding, all holding that ball of light, okay? There's something this person wants to offer you, and I feel like it's a move, um, either moving towards you or moving towards them, or an opportunity to get things off. This person is, not, it's like, it went from casual and intimate and, you know, just, just that, could you just been, you know, friends with benefits, to something way, way more than this person has ever offered anybody, anybody. And you know that, you absolutely know that about this individual. Let's see what the Island Time Wellness uh, cards have to say. Um, how is Aries person feeling about Aries? How are they feeling? The chaser, chaser. Oh my gosh, they're chasing you. This is someone who's taking actions towards you and they, I feel like they have been the runner most of their life. 
I do, okay? Um, now, this could be a little bit of fear. It's like, I, I feel like they are feeling that they're going to lose you, especially with the mask. There's a lot of things not seen here in this situation um, that are going to be unfolding here because this person wants to come in quickly. Let's see what's on your side here, though. Let's see what's on your side here. <laughs> Here's the thing. With addiction, this is what you're getting out of. You're getting out of codependent issues. And I feel that meeting with date, meeting someone new, dating, getting back on there was not on the top of your radar. You can't make this shit up, you tried. I don't feel that it was ever in, in your intention to date or get fall back into this, okay? You wanted time to heal. And now this opportunity comes up and someone wants to present something with you that they feel something more. And it's almost like the level of, oh shit. Okay, but I feel like this person is coming. Um, I feel like that, <laughs> yeah, I do. I feel like with what they have here is that they wanna have a talk with you. Um, and I do feel like what they're bringing up here has to do with their feelings. You know, we got love here and then we have paradise, which again, feels like a vacation or a distance. Huh, some of you, this offer is going to, the reason that they're so focused on this shark energy, they're planning a vacation. They want you to go away with them. They want you to get to know each other in a way. They, they're planning something. Now, a vacation doesn't have to be anything extravagant, but I feel like this person wants to talk to you the way that they may, this is how you'll know. If they um, talk to you, Aries, this is this is it. If they, if they talk to you and they invite you on a vacation or a weekend getaway or something, it's not just about the sex, okay? This is about someone wanting to express their feelings and wanting to spend time with you. Um, this is kind of their way of testing the waters, okay? They're testing the waters with you. Um, so the choice is going to be on you. The choice is absolutely gonna be on you, Aries, if you're going to take this person on or, um, I just feel like for many of you, you you just feel like it's too good to be true. It's almost like, oh come on, you want to you want to pay for a vacation with me and hang out with you? Are you kidding me? Oh my God, this is not going to resonate for everybody, but there's somebody here who has to hear it. So, hmm. I don't know. I could go go use a getaway. I would say go for it. You know, follow your heart, follow what feels right to you. Okay, don't force anything in that level. But um, I feel like you got good things coming your way. Enjoy the vacation. Dang. <laughs> All right, Aries, if this resonated, go ahead and hit like, comment below. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Take care.